Hello and welcome to our program. Uh, today we are joined by Comrade Yusuf Tarigami, Central Committee Member of the CPIM and also an MLA from Kulgam. And we are going to discuss about what is the current crisis in Kashmir, what is the situation. Welcome to our program, Comrade. Yes. What actually is the situation in Kashmir seeing the outcome that we have seen in the two parliamentary bipoles, the decreased amount, uh, number of voting, uh, regular violence, students are protesting on the ground, what's happening? You see, uh, whatever is happening today uh, in Kashmir, it is not to be seen in isolation. It is the result of uh, the long uh, list of uh, neglect which the people of Kashmir have been facing. It is uh, the result of the disastrous policies pursued since long vis-a-vis -vis Kashmir, not taking into account the actuality uh, whatever is happening on the ground. And you know, uh, it is uh, in Kashmir where uh, the people have been uh, feeling strongly that we have been abandoned, we have been, we have been betrayed, and whether it is uh, the question of democracy, whether it is the question of uh, guaranteed, uh, certain guarantees provided by the constitutional provisions vis-a-vis -vis autonomy, uh, this, these uh, are the issues, have been issues why the people, particularly the younger generation, has been uh, feeling hurt and uh, disturbed. And now the present uh, crisis, again, it is the ongoing crisis of 2016. All of us know that 2016 was a very, uh, very, uh, uh, we it's have seen in, massive yeah. agitation, massive agitation, and uh, Around 100 youngsters got killed, so much of pellet gun was used and dozens of our youngsters have got, uh, I think, uh, blinded. And, uh, and this has been under focus. Parliament has discussed it, elsewhere it has been, this issue has been discussed. But nevertheless, uh, there has not been any political response, positive response from the government of India. Now, one important thing is to be uh, taken into consideration. Why this low turnout now during the Srinagar uh, parliamentary bipole, 7% only and 8 deaths, not a small thing, while as in 2014 there was a huge participation of young stars. There was huge, the whole atm atmosphere was full of enthusiasm. Since BJP PDP government has come to power, this has constantly increased. Apart from also the issue of autonomy, there are other issues like un, uh, employment, providing livelihood to the people. Has government completely failed on that front? No, it's not the question. They have never initiated anything as of now. I am telling you, they have, they have only given doses of deaths to the people of Kashmir. What happened last year, what is happening this year? You will see, you will find on the streets of Kashmir, Nothing except, except, except uh, uh, our, our security forces. There is no political face on the ground seen by the people. There is no any message emerging out of this empire in Delhi which can convey that we are concerned about their polite, which can, which can convey the feeling of, uh, uh, feeling of some sort of a, uh, a concern about their, about their fate. Now, employment and all that, uh, there, are, uh, there is nothing. Virtually our economy is destroyed, virtually our everything is uh, in shambles and mostly the younger generation of the people there unfortunately massively feel insecure. That sense of insecurity is more dangerous for coming days if not arrested by taking political appropriate measures. When BJP was uh, telling the people of Jammu and Kashmir, particularly Jammu, that we will be having uh, 20, 44 plus and we will be having, we will reverse all those policies which have gone against the interests of Jammu and Ladakh and uh, we will be having abrogation of Article 3770. We will be doing uh, whatever is possible to address the grievances of the people of Jammu and Ladakh. And again, it is PDP in Kashmir, which apart from other issues, they were, they focused their campaign on that here is a threat posed by the RSS-led BJP 
and unless unless we resist it the future of jammu and kashmir is doomed and none else but pdp can resist this pressure of communal agenda vote for us you see then these are the forces bjp on the on one hand rss and pdp on the other who were fighting against each other during elections promising certain things to their respective electorates then joining together and forming the government you see please don't forget it the same people who were up in full of enthusiasm in 2014 are now getting getting virtually irritated by the very name of elections electoral exercise so comrade uh, seeing the situation that we have today so what's the way ahead what are the demands that we that the secular minded people the democratic people of kashmir are raising you know militancy there was a phase of militancy and uh, government of india claimed that militancy is almost controlled and all that then there were certain amount of demands in 2010 and onwards that why don't you take certain confidence building measures when the level of militants militancy has come down what is the requirement of such a huge security forces to be deployed for internal security then what is the necessity of armed forces special powers act so these were the demands and then plus there was a demand that this has been a problem between india and pakistan not today right from 47 why don't you talk together why don't you have a dialogue why don't you settle the issues through the process of dialogue and then again our 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 uh, this uh, assembly has adopted a resolution about granting the original autonomy not that we were not demanding anything new we were demanding whatever has been eroded to be restored that has not been done by the then bjp government led by atul bihari vajpayee so all these issues put together people have been demanding demanding but there has not been any response sometimes there were certain promises made but later on those promises have been forgotten and even now uh, last year such a huge massive massive uh, agitation massive massive upsurge and then the response has been there has been some debate and discussion in the parliament on in both the houses and a delegation led by home minister visited all party delegation in which our general secretary was also a part of it left parties were part of it and uh, there was certain assurances given to the people now now look how how careless the attitude of the government of india is pilot has cr- created havoc as if internal security is uh, incomplete unless there is pilot what a sorry state of affairs now despite assurances despite the demand by the people that give it up this notorious uh, way of dealing with the situation this uh, notorious weapon called pellet gun so far nothing has happened in fact they have issued new set of pellet new pellets now sometimes they say we will use the rubber bullet and this bullet there is bullets only in the store of bjp now unfortunately uh, whatever the bjp has been doing for the last uh, since two years the only whatever they are doing in the rest of the country that is sending a very uh, dangerous message to the people of kashmir that uh, hence for there is no scope for uh, living in an uh, honorable life within the indian union of india a, 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 a very very uh, dangerous message is going to the people that you the people of kashmir uh, you can be treated with bullet alone you can be treated with pellet alone you can be treated with the prisons and all that there is there is no soft face for the people of kashmir kashmir is today i must tell my my countrymen my young youngsters that kashmir is getting uh, humiliated and our our you know these younger bo- young boys they want study they want good life they want a better better life they don't want to get killed humiliated but when they are pushed to the wall what is the alternative left for for the people there even now the situation can be retreated provided provided the set of proposal is made by us cpim this is restore the eroded position of article 370 uh, give the maximum autonomy to the people of jammu and kashmir talk to all stakeholders including pakistan you can't live with a neighbor in a hostile atmosphere for a longer period and this hostility has caused much 
to our in national interest and to the interest of the people of Jammu and Kashmir. Give it up. The sooner the better. And Kashmir cries for a solution which can provide them some sort of a dignified life. Some sort of a life which is, which is where, where, where uh, one feels uh, treated un, 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 uh, unerably. That's what the Kashmiri youngsters, youngsters, they demand from us. But looking at the agenda of the BJP at the national level, uh, we have seen what they have done, what they have said in UP, what they are seeing elsewhere. Uh, it means that uh, they are uh, uh, keen to destroy the fabric of the fabric of uh, plurality, the fabric of secular ethos, the fabric of uh, brotherhood. They are, they are virtually targeting these issues on which the foundations of uh, India are uh, there. So uh, that is where, where you can uh, understand the impact of these policies, disastrous policies, on the psyche of the average Kashmiri. Thanks, Comrade, for giving us your time. And as this issue proceeds, we'll be coming back to you on it. Thank you for watching our program.